Happy Saturday, everyone. I'm Lydia Young, your Saturday Guild member. I've been writing since I can pretty much remember. Um, the first completed works I remember doing were like Beastmaster and Highlander fanfiction as a kid. Um, as an author, I've published one poem under a different name a long time ago and two short works in anthologies. I plan to release my first novel, yay, this year. All right, on to the questionnaire. I write urban fantasy slash urban fantasy romance and um, paranormal romance. One of my short works was a contemporary romance, but it remains to be seen whether I'll continue to write in that genre. I'm pretty chill when it comes to protagonists. As long as the character is well-developed and intriguing, I don't necessarily have an archetype that tickles my fancy. I do favor protagonists who are snarky in a funny and non-cruel way. Um, I also love a protagonist who develops and grows noticeably, especially in a series. I am obsessed with books where the protagonist starts off quote-unquote weak and becomes a bona fide badass on the inside. I mean, they may develop superpowers or whatever, but that to me is secondary to the evolution of their character, thought process, emotional growth, etc. Arr, this is a difficult one because obviously so many books are amazing. Um, I would say Dresden Files has been a staple for me for a long time within the urban fantasy genre, followed closely by the Iron Druid series. Um, anything by Neil Gaiman and Lainey Taylor. I'm also a huge fan of books by Lisa Kleypas, uh, Marjorie Liu, and Daniel O'Malley. Um, in terms of audiobooks, I do favor young adult and zombie and alien invasion apocalypse books. And I know that podcasts aren't books, but they do have amazing fiction series and especially audio drama fiction. And um, for podcasts, I really like weird fiction and horror. I read books in both platforms, but I favor physical books more as a reader. Um, while I plan to start my publishing journey primarily in ebook format, I do hope to get to a point where I can publish paperback copies as well. Computer all the way. Absolutely yes on the Oxford comma. I realize it's a stylistic and grammatical preference, but I grew up res uh, respecting the Oxford comma and I just, I can't quit it. Without it, a sentence like, if I could have dinner with anyone, I'd want to have dinner with my parents, Jack the Ripper, and Typhoon Mary, like, could have really bloody connotations, or really, really fun connotations. I mean, it's all about perspective. Um, if it's a partial sentence inside the parentheses, then I put the period outside. If it's a whole sentence inside the parentheses, then I put the period inside. I am an equal opportunity cat and dog lover, but I do lean more towards dogs. <laughs> I'll admit I'm pretty creepy about it. When I see a dog on the street, I make like these weird noises of absolute joy and just stare. I do respect their space and I don't touch unless their human says I can. And even then I try to read their body language and only touch if they seem comfortable or welcoming, but I do stare like a lot. If we're going for a fear of something that has more probability of occurring than, say, like dying slowly via an Inquisition style torture device, or like having a spider lay eggs inside the eyeball, then my greatest fear would be being alone forever. I don't remember. Ugh. I mean, it's been eons since I've taken this test. Um, I do remember wavering between introvert and extrovert on different occasions, which is why I call myself an ambivert, but I don't really remember beyond that. Premising my answer on the modern interpretation of the werewolf and vampire archetypes, I'm gonna have to go with werewolf. I mean, there are centuries of theological discussion centered around free will, so a five minute intro video doesn't really seem like um, there would be ample time to discuss this, but uh, in a nutshell, yes, unless lizard people. Generally silence. Um, however, non-intrusive, non-excitement inducing instrumental music works on occasion. So if I work with music, it'll be either some sort of cafe-ish instrumental stuff or lo-fi chill. 
I'm a Pisces. All right, and that is the end of the questionnaire. Thanks so much for watching this video. Tomorrow we'll be looping back to the lovely Miss Joy on a brand new topic of the week. If you want more of the guild, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more of her bit, my dumpling loving monster thing, hit that like button as well. Until next Saturday, bye-bye.